What's up, everybody? It's your favorite controversial copper's favorite nerd. Today, we are looking at the Zeta Toys Vortex. Now, a couple things I got to get out of the way straight away. This was sent to me by GCI Toys, so I got to give them a shout out. They don't care what I say. They don't care if I say it's trash. They don't care if I say it's great. They just gave me the opportunity to take a look at it. So I'm appreciative of that sort of approach, and I want to show them some love. That's GCI Toys. You can find them on Facebook and the interwebs and all that kind of stuff. Second thing I want to address straight away is this was sent to me in bubble wrap the packaging and all that stuff i guess isn't done and this was broken off inside the bubble wrap it fell out of the bubble wrap as soon as i opened it so that's a bit of a bummer dear gci see what happened was this is a test shot but it's a bit more advanced than just a prototype so we're going to take a look at it I want to say the the first thing that struck me about this thing was that it was huge. Uh, just for a size comparison, like there it is with Tiger Tracks. Like it's a big helicopter. And the other thing is uh, the we'll talk about a couple things it can do. The lack of paint and everything. I don't think that this has been painted, so I can't comment on that really. Uh, the helicopter blades do spin. They spin fine. No problems there. And so does this one. Probably spins even better if you have all four to keep it balanced. The other thing I want to point out that's an issue with this is these back landing gear do not support the weight of the helicopter itself. You'll see, just keep your eye on this one as we put it down. I'll put it down very gently. No dice. Not a chance. Uh, they do fold up. And then you can have this guy displayed in helicopter mode. We do have a translucent window that's used around here. It's a dark translucent. I'm not sure if they're keeping that. I would imagine that they are. And these bits here seem a little unfinished. Like I looked at pictures and stuff to make sure this is the way it's supposed to be. And it seems as though it is, but I, I kept finding myself wanting to push them in or something because it just seems a little, a little unfinished while it's sitting there. Uh, this is a little strange too, these things here, but overall i think it's decent the materials feel pretty good like it feels like a solid enough plastic i don't know what i would compare it to necessarily but it feels like a, a solid a solid enough plastic i'm trying to think if anything is jumping out at me in terms of what it feels like but i don't think that anything is so that's pretty much it for uh helicopter mode i don't know what's going on here but uh, this has changed quite a few hands. I think it was passed around a bit at a uh, like a collector get together. So um, you know, GCI is pretty good about stuff like that. So I, I'm, I'm guessing that this has changed quite a few hands. That's probably what led to a little bit of the fragility of the tail propeller and uh, any other potential issues we might run into might have something to do with that. I don't know what stage this is in terms of getting the final product out. So I'll make recommendations and stuff. And uh, I'll tell you how I feel about it at the end, but I, I don't I don't know what sort of really uh, basis we'll get to, what kind of conclusion we're going to get to. All right. So let's get started. All right. So this transformation is not that it's difficult. It's just that there are some clearance issues and I, I don't have the instructions. So I don't know if I'm going in the right order, but you can kind of untab this tail pieces they clip around the sides and that'll allow you to free that up and then just sort of start collapsing all these blades and I don't know if that's the right way to go about that or not and then we just got to fold up all these panels so it's already started coming undone take this piece here and this does fold up we'll bring this down for now there we go some of these uh, little placements are really tight. Bring this piece down, fold that up. So this is the arms and this is the legs. And you just gotta clear all these panels. You can fold this down. I don't know which way these things go. Uh, this is the back of the foot. All right, we can split this. And then I had to find, there's a, other pieces that fit in under here and I know this is a little difficult to follow but it's it's a little difficult to follow in hand as well all right so this back piece here opens and if you need more room you can rotate this piece down 
that'll open that all the way up and that'll reveal the leg. Now I don't know exactly how far you're supposed to bring this up at Combiner Wars out. I like to have, I'm guessing, I, yeah, I like to have this black piece here above this gray line. It just, I don't know. I don't know if that's right. I guess it is because there's a little indentation around it, which this fits around perfectly. So I'm guessing that's the case. And then this folds up and that folds down. And then you can just kind of cover down there. And then around on this side, this was out. You know, like this was up here covering that. You just fold this down and then fold that around. And then that closes down. And then you spin the foot around. And that's one leg. So we'll try to do that again and try to show it a little cleaner. Open this part up here. If you need more clearance, get the foot out of the way. Combiner wars the leg down. Make sure that that one black peg clears and moves all the way around. And then you can close this up and close that back down. Rotate the foot down and around and all that stuff should fit under there. These pieces here are a little loose. I, if they're listening, I advise them to fix the tolerance here. And then on this side, this is already folded down. Bring that around and snap it into place and then snap that down. And that is the lower body done. Now let's raise up the camera. All right, so these are the arms, obviously. They're pegged into this combiner port piece. Unpeg on both sides. Spin them 180. And then bring the shoulder piece down. You can bring this flap down as well now, too, and fold that around. And I think that's just all you do there. And then clip those around. This piece here swaps places with the hand. This is a really tight tolerance but it opens like that and then this moves here and bring the arm, the hand out rotate this piece on this double hinge here in and then close that back up and I'll, I'll get that a little tighter uh, when I clean it up and then same on this side fold this down and around use this I've been using pressure from this double hinge to get it to open. I'm not sure, I don't necessarily advise that, but uh, it has been giving me the, the leverage to get the job done. And there that is. Fold this down and around and close those. This uh, nightmare back here, these two pieces split open and then this black section here comes around to the other side and pegs into the back. Same for this side. And this whole piece spins. This piece, you can bring the combiner peg down, fold that down, the head might come up, and then if it doesn't, just open up this chest piece and bring it out. Close that in, and then these two pegs go back into the back And I'm not sure if you're supposed to have these ends up or these. Let's go with those. I feel like it's a little less obtrusive. But I mean, there's a lot of obtrusive stuff going on here, so I'm not sure you're gonna be able to cover it all. And then for this piece, I'm really not sure. So I've just kind of been folding up like this I don't know if that's right. We'll, we'll, I'll show you a couple different ways to do it, but we'll, we'll get him cleaned up and we'll take a look at him. But that's him. All right. It's pretty much what you expect it to be. The head, and, and like I said, I don't know if this is 100% right. You know, I, I just don't know. There's no instructions here. It seems like it's right, but like I said, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just not sure. So there might be a couple things wrong. The head is on a ball peg, and you get... Some side-to-side -side confused dog look. You get a little bit up. You get a good bit down. And you get the swivel. Nothing really stellar to write home about. And I'm pretty positive that there's going to be more paint on this thing. At least I hope there is. If there's not, then there's an issue because there's literally no paint on it at all. And I just don't, I just don't think that that's the case. All right. So we'll just run through the articulation. It has 
an upper torso swivel, like a diaphragm swivel, and then it also has a waist swivel, which is fine. It's a little redundant. It's definitely gonna come into play for combined mode, but it doesn't really help you a whole lot in robot mode. It has the sassy bot crunch. What? What, what, what? What'd you say? And it only goes one side, of course. And then it has the shoulders, which are on hinges here. So you get up to there. It's also on a universal joint at the shoulder itself. So you can get up to here as well or all the way up. So no problems there. It also has a bicep swivel. It has what looks like, I think it's just a single hinged elbow and it gets you less than 90 degrees. So not the best. The wrist swivel and then each finger is on an individual ball peg. Um, but the, all the fingers are bent, so he's in a constant state of typing on the keyboard. One of those deals, including the thumb. Same for the other side. For the thighs, or hips rather, we have hip skirts here, revealing universal joints that are on, it feels like soft ratchets. Soft ratchets out to the side, getting you the full Van Dam, And then friction front and back, which gets you... Not the full Monty, but pretty close. Thigh swivel is built into the bottom of the universal, but it's not the widest range, but I don't think it needs to be. The knee, um, it's less than 90 degrees. It's not the best. And I, like, there's a number of different ways to have this knee. I have them configured, or I did have them configured two different ways. But uh, yeah, it just can't, it can't. it just can't get out of its own way. At least it seems that way. I could be wrong. There might be a way to tuck this back in there. I don't know. Because if I could get that flap inside, that flap might be able to go inside. I might be able to get you a little bit more. Either way, it's not great. Ankles, tilt down, tilt up, and rock. He is heavy, and the feet are a little small, so it's a little bit of a challenge to... To balance them, and like I said, I don't know if all this stuff in the back is is right, but that's pretty. I mean, it can't be right, can it? I mean, I, I guess you could do it like this and have this down, or have this up, or this like that. I don't know. I don't know what the right way to go about it is here, and I don't know if this sh can come off or if it should be able to come off. I think I would prefer it to be removable. I'm just not sure. I'm. I just don't know. But yeah, it's it's fine. It's kibbly. It has a hard time getting out of its own way. I think most of us suspected that. Uh, like I've said in my discussion video uh, for Sit Down Saturdays, I am not in on these guys to be my bot modes. I don't think they look great in bot mode. I am in. The, the knees are ratcheted too, by the way. And yeah, he can get 90 degrees. Let me see if I can get this flap in now. No. No, you can't. You cannot. So it's less than 90 degrees. So I wasn't expecting this to be great in bot mode, and it certainly is not. Um, I, I hope that things are put together a little bit more solid because it, it, it there's a lot of panels here, as we've kind of come to expect, and they're coming untabbed and so forth as, as I go to manipulate it. And it's messy. It really is. You know, and I... <clears throat> I definitely based off this, which again, it isn't the final, but I, I couldn't recommend this if you wanted this to be your bot mode. It's just, it's a, it's a bit of a mess. What, what am I hung up on here? Oh, there it is. That might be able to help. that'll get you 90 degrees but still you know it's 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 not great but it, it's something and it doesn't uh it's just it doesn't really i don't know if it's right <laughs> but it doesn't meet today's i don't think it meets today's standard for a masterpiece robot mode really at all uh it doesn't have any weapons either uh, at least with this it has a tab here so i'm guessing weapons are coming it's interesting, but it doesn't really meet today's standard in this regard. The question for me, and I think for most people, is how does it meet the standard in terms of combined mode? And it's going to be a while before we know that. So it's, it's a very challenging call to make.
size comparison wise, there he is with two other combiners currently being built and a masterpiece car. So he's huge. He's far too huge. Uh, you know, he's not too huge in combiner mode, but he's far too huge here. All right, so let's go back. Well, let's go to combine mode, which is kind of like going back to the other. Open this up here and you want, I always get eight up because there's just too many options, but you want this to kind of, yeah, that'll line up. So close in the fist, close that up, rotate this, open these two pieces, and then that's gonna go like this. We can open this compartment as well. Easy for me to say. There. Head down, that goes up, this comes forward, this comes out. And then this plugs into here, and this piece covers down like before. Same for this side. I hope you can see this. Open these flaps, spin 180. Oh, I didn't put the hand in. Let's see if we can open that up. Fold the hand in. You want this to line back up. So you want it like that. And then bring this. What is going on here? Down and around. And this will lock in to there and to there. Alrighty. You can take the backpack, spin that back around the other way. You probably have to fix these while you're at it. All right, actually, these can stay. These can stay. And then you're going to collapse this back down. It'll plug back into the back. And then this piece comes down. And these sort of encapsulate it. Uh, both at these two sections here. And then this folds down. And and that is... What, what do you need, sweetheart? Um, can I put my gymnastics suit since I'm going to do gymnastics? <laughs> no, you're not going to do gymnastics today. In um, the playroom? No, hold on a second. Sorry about that. She just wants to do getting 100 outfits today. Uh, she can do gymnastics in her regular clothes, I think. Anyway, now we're going to need to utilize this middle section here. So we're going to spin that around this way, and then we're going to spin this back around this way, I believe. And that gets us our elbow while this is plugged in. And this is the part that I'm unsure about. I think we're supposed to collapse the legs, but I guess you could have them extended as well. But I think if we collapse them, we're going to end up getting a more like finished looking arm. So I'm going to try it that way. Maybe I'm not. I don't know what is going on here. There it is. I can see it. Oh boy. Dear GCI, see what happened was. All right, so then we'll close this up and we'll leave this down. Yes. And let's do that over here as well. And leave that down. And then we want this in some way to come back around, I think, and make the, uh, and make the helicopter front bit. But that doesn't fit quite right. So I'm not entirely sure how that goes. I'm guessing somewhere in here is where the combiner port goes. Uh, like I said, it's, it's just it's impossible to tell for me at the moment without any instructions or 
or know-how. But I think this is at the very least in the ballpark. And I don't, uh, my only question is, is these flaps. Oh, that'll fold back down. And that should do it. Cool. Problem solved, gents. We got it. We don't need instructions. I mean, two things have been broken on this thing, but... I'll also say I've had some problems getting this to plug in, like when I transformed it back into um, what you call mode. I wonder... Well, we're going to leave it at that for today. And I'm guessing the hand sticks somewhere in there. And this is actually really cool. Like, because it's solid, there's no gaps. This is a pain. See, I hope you can just remove this. You know, that's my advice to them, is to just be able to remove this. Because it just gets in the way, and it's cumbersome. But anyway, you're going to have a elbow swivel. You're going to have a bicep swivel. You're going to have an elbow bend that's independent. And you got, like, this piston-looking thing down below here, which will get you. And then the hand will be here. Like, it's just, it's solid. This is the same sort of solid that I felt with the... Uh, constructor and that's why I'm going with this for combined mode 100% is because it gives me that same solid feel you're gonna have a double joint here in the shoulder and I'm guessing that should be able to sw oh, it'll probably swivel the other end but yeah like this is rock solid you know like the robot mode nothing to write home about the helicopter mode doesn't look accurate but it does the job this is what I want it for, and the only thing that bothers me about it are these blades. So that gives me a good feeling. That gives me a little bit of security in my purchase, or confidence, I should say. So this seems promising. So look, I was able to repair uh, that blade. It was just that the pin had come loose, and I, I could just put the... I could take the pin out, put the blade back on, put the pin back in, and it was fine. Uh, I hope that that's not an issue on the final version. It strikes me as a test shot sort of issue, but I have no idea. I also wish that these stayed in. I have a problem with these popping out, and I'm guessing there's a better way to interlock these. Let's see if we can. Yeah, there is. Let's try it. We're this far, and we'll kind of talk about final thoughts. Oof, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. We'll kind of, I'm not sure if this, if this interlocking piece here should just be a regular tab in tab, because that's going to be problematic. Let's talk about final thoughts. I'm not going to transform this back into robot mode or anything. Like, I've been able to repair one of the damages that, it, that occurred, and it's my possession. This one, obviously, is not repairable. So I'm going to cut my losses and leave this as it is and send it back. Um, I, uh, I'll tell you. When I did it in combined mode here, it was my first time doing it in combined mode. I did a practice run of helicopter to robot before I did that one, and I was very worried. I was very worried because of all the panels and the fiddliness and the kibble and everything getting in its own way, and it kind of seemed sloppy, and there's a lot of issues. There is a lot of issues, but I can tell you, let's say I took a breath of fresh air when I put it in this mode because this is money. This is exactly what I want. So this feels good. If you want this thing for anything but combined mode, even though this is a prototype, so it could get, a, or this isn't a prototype, this is a test shot, but this could get a lot better, I advise you to not go through with this. But if you're going through with this for combined mode, like I am, I can tell you I am feeling much more confident now than I was 15 minutes ago, let alone 15 days ago. I feel good about this. I think it's going to work out just fine for a Bruticus. For a Vortex, not so much. Hope that helps. Thanks for listening. Thanks to GCI. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.